want to give you a tour of the studio today. JMW Studios has moved around a bit over the last couple of years, but finally it is set up in its new space and I'm happy to share it with you. So let's get up those stairs and take a look around. All right, so last year we bought an old 1907 home and I was able to bring my studio back into our home and I get the whole upstairs for studio space. So I get to climb up these stairs, which some people might not like, but um, actually it reminds me of my grandmother, so I love it. Speaking of reminding me of things, here's what's at the top of the stairs, and this, as you can see, I have mentioned gnomes, there they are. Um, this is my dad's old desk from when he was a kid, and last year, we worked on restoring it and getting it all back together, and I'm so happy that it is finally there and I sit at it every day. On this side, have a little bit of art, journals, art books, all sorts of fun. And this is the long row of drying and projects I'm working on or places to put art that's finished and ready to go for a show take you back to this wall as you come around here. It's one of my favorite things I had printed up actually on Persnickety Prints, which a bunch of images from my first year in business. Um, so this is really fun to walk by every day. And then we come around here, and this is my kind of inspiration desk area. Oh, it's funny seeing on video, it looks very colorful and a bit of a mess, but I love it. Um, and I actually stare at this wall when I'm working across from my studio space, which I'll show you in a minute. So anyway, it's just colors and images and words and all sorts of things that just mean something to me. So it's a special place for me to sit and plan some more art. Some up here is my art, some's other art. So I'm going to take you around in the main space first, so we'll go into that room in a second. But as we twirl around, here's my main studio table. Um, and we can come around and see, I've got all my supplies surrounding me, so I don't have to move too far to get access to everything, which I love. So then when I am working here, you can see I can look across to my inspiration and color and fun and words that mean so much to me. Right now on the studio table, I'm actually working on the Big 500 art show. So these are my next two pieces. Hopefully by the time this video goes out, they'll all be done, turned in, and ready to go for the show. So as you come down here from my drawing area, Clark's got his little area, <laughs> and you know, hopefully most days the door can stay open, but some days he's still a puppy, so he gets closed in when I need to get stuff done. But this is my desk, the computer space, and I love it because it sits right underneath the skylight window, which leads me right out to my tree, which I absolutely love, so I can sit there and watch her change seasons, and clearly it's fall, so she's shedding her colors right now. So we'll walk around here as we go down. Got some of the storage that's on the back side of my working space. And then i am got this table that's actually at a sitting height. So my main table that I work at is standing. Um, but this one is sitting and this usually I work on things that are less messy here. Although also the end of this will be a palette space for now I can paint on things that hang on the wall. So I have plenty of space to do that. And there is a piece that I am reworking, so it needs a lot of layers on it. And then turning around here, this is actually my planning table and visual journaling that I'm getting into to share some of my stories and things, so it's very fun. Um, and then a little yoga space over here that Clark and I do every morning, and yes, he helps me, if you can call it help. Um, little sewing area that honestly doesn't get used a lot and really the sewing machine sews on paper more than anything. Um, one of my favorite things that we had done to this space was one of these split units. So 
Since we are in the attic of the house and it is an old house, it can get very hot and very cold depending on what season we're in. And that keeps it an even temperature to make it nice for me. So love that. And then we go in here, what I always refer to as the water room, um, but actually it's the photography and water room. So I have this space over here. That's a new series that will get photographed later this week. But this is where I can set up with my lights, turn off this main light, just work with my lights and have a dedicated area, which I love. And then the necessary items of printers and paper and all of that. My latest series that just went up on Etsy. And then over here, this was one of the other things that we had added to the space was a sink. So I love this. Um, nice deep utility sink, can make a mess, have stuff up here to make tea and water. So it's really great. Um, I'm very, very fortunate with this space. Thanks for dropping by the studio today. Hope it gave you an idea of where all the art from JMW Studios gets created. Until next time, see you later.